Welcome back. On Wednesdays, we talk live with somebody in Kenosha doing great things. They have been named the Kenosha of the Week by our partners at Kenosha.com. And so joining us in studio this afternoon is Ken Wheely, the Kenosha of the Week. Ken, thanks so much for being with us. Oh, it's just an honor to be here, guys. Well, and congratulations with your honor, former Kenosha Unified Schools Band Director, a Teacher of the Year, and now a full-fledged official photographer. How did this passion come about for you? Well, it really goes back to my dad. My dad was a great music educator and a band director. And uh, when he passed away, we were going through all of the stuff at, at our house. And that camera was sitting there. And my dad's little camera is a film camera. Mm -hmm. I still, his, his uh, words were ringing in my ears, 22 cents a shot. And that was, you Make know, back count. in the film yeah. days, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, so I looked at that camera, I thought, you know, I would really love to just kind of keep them in my heart sure. mm -hmm. that way and, and follow in his footsteps and, you know, chase photography. And I hadn't really done much with that before, but it was a, a great way for me to keep him in, in my memory. You'd never just dabbled in photography before that. How did you get so good so quickly? Because some of the images you have taken, oh, they're I mean, they're, they're National Geographic quality, some of the things we see there. How did you get so good? Well, Steve, that, that, thanks, man. It really means a lot to me. I, I just think I'm lucky I'm out there all the time. I'm there, and most of the shots that I get, you know, nine out of ten are just completely sure. fillers. They're not killers. But once in a while, if, if you're there and you take enough pictures, you end up with something special. And that's the only thing I attribute it to is just being out there a lot. You what do you know? look for when you're, when you're trying to frame a shot? Well, I, I look for some kind of moment, some kind of gesture, like an exchange of emotion even between the wildlife um, and something that connects with, you know, somebody, if they, if they look at it, might connect with them in an emotional way. Just like when I was teaching music mm -hmm. and I was trying to get my kids to perform well, I always talked about, okay, there has to be some kind of emotion connected to what you're doing in order to connect with the audience. Yeah, that so, passion, it just makes right, a difference. Right. So you talked about the importance of your father and your love of photography, and then now your mother comes into play too with musings and her poetry? Well, you know, if anybody had told me I'd be sitting here, you know, talking about a photography book that also had poetry in it, I'd be saying, well, come on, <laughs> poetry, are you kidding yeah. me? <laughs> but she was an amazing creative person in her own right. Yeah. And um, when my dad had typed together and gave us kids a little pamphlet of all of her works, all of her poems, when he first gave it to me years ago, I kind of just set it aside and thought, well, okay, that's really cool. But yeah. after retiring, I had a chance to really dive deep into the book and, and discover that here was a source of inspiration for me, that unbelievable source, which he had written about nature and her feelings about being outside in the great North Woods. Mm -hmm. And I thought if I took one of these poems each one and used it as an inspiration to go out and find an image that would kind of support it yeah. and just use that as my way of uh, finding, finding uh, a way to also re get her poems out there too, you know, because she was behind the scenes all the time with my dad being in the limelight as a teacher, but she was an incredibly creative person. You are retired, but you're not, you're not slacking off. That is, <laughs> Your that act is for too sure. is fantastic. <laughs> Trying to stay out of trouble. A That's great right. second act. Mm -hmm. The Kenosha of the Week. Ken Wheely, thank you so much. We appreciate Thanks, you Ken. coming in and sharing some of your pictures and stories. If thank you, would you like so much. To, if you would like to read Ken's full story and the stories of other Kenoshans of the week, all you have to do is head to Kenosha.com. And we do live interviews like this one every day on TMJ4 News at 4. Tomorrow, we're going to focus our attention on Racine County with our Racine Roundup. On Friday, Lance and Chuck. <laughs> well, they're going to preview some of the big games happening under the lights as high school football teams are chasing their chance to romp at Camp Randall.